Hi, uh, we're going to make some HTML, CSS elements and put them into our Streamlabs OBS software today. I'm going to show you how to do that. I am not going to be showing you how to make HTML and CSS elements uh, by themselves. So I'm going to rely that I'm going to rely on you having an HTML element ready to go or knowing where to find one. So I'm going to demonstrate um, this HTML element here. Let's do... Uh, let's let's remove this. So here's my um, HTML web page that I'm viewing in my browser that I have written, and here is the Visual Studio Code to uh, to show you the HTML element itself. Here is the big spinner object that's uh, actually spinning around here, and then these little loading balls are defined right here, and there's some more text, and then. I also have some CSS applied to this HTML element, and I have uh, a Google font that I'm using called Press Start 2P or 2 Player, and it's that big chunky old school video game font that I really like. And uh, if you like it too, that's what it's called. Um, I'm gonna scroll through this sort of uh, sort of quickly so you can see it. If you just wanted to copy it, of course, this is uh, something I wrote in about 30 minutes. Um, again, I'm not going to be showing you or uh, teaching you how to do HTML, CSS, uh, but it has a it has a, a couple of cool things: different colors, CSS variables, uh, animations, um, transformations. Uh, one important thing to know is that in my HTML, we do not have anything that is uh, a body tag. The Streamlabs software will take your HTML element and it inserts it into the stream. Uh, and it interprets that it is going to be inside of the body element. So in my CSS, I, I still am going to apply styles to the body, uh, padding and margin zero, just to uh, sort of adjust it just just a little bit more towards uh, the corner and be a little bit a little bit more exact by about five pixels. And the last thing I need to do to my HTML element is make sure that I have this link up there at the top. And we want to use REL style sheet and href of loading.css. And what this is, is the loading CSS. This is the name of the CSS file I wrote here. Those have to match up exactly. So I'm going to show you where I have this in my file system. So let's, uh, uh, let me see if I can zoom in here. Nah, can't really see it. But somewhere in my file systems, I have uh, my custom elements. And I have my starting soon, uh, well, that's a different starting soon. I have my loading element here. And inside of it is just two things here to keep it simple, my HTML and my CSS file. And I'm just gonna make sure that these are in the same folder. All right, so let's take a, pic, uh, uh, let's take a peek at my web browser just to demonstrate that this is being shown exactly as it would in a web browser. And let's show how it would uh, look in uh, Streamlabs. Let me move. Let me move me out of the way. Move myself uh, a little over there. So now in my Streamlabs software, if I wanted to add in some element, I'm going to press uh, the little plus button on my sources and go to browser source. And right here. Uh, allows you to add web-based content such as a, as a source, such as web pages, widgets, and streaming videos. This is normally used for um, third-party software where you want to add custom sound effects or um, chat listeners or things that uh, are really fancy, but you can get really basic uh, with stuff like this and make it look, look nice if you put in the time. So once you uh, open that up, um, I am not going to select an existing HTML um, browser source that I have. I'm going to click a new one, but if you want to use it uh, after you've already placed it into Streamlabs OBS, you would just select it from the list here. So let's say uh, add a new source. I'm going to name it my um, starting soon spinner and click add source. And now my uh, source is up there on the top right. I'm just going to drag that over and get my window back here. This is my um, page that I'm using to edit this element now these are the properties i'm going to select local file and browse and find in my file system where i keep my custom element and i'm going to select the html element right there so once i click open 
now my element is actually in my stream. I can drag it around anywhere I want. Uh, let's let's uh, show a few examples of what I might do with this. Um, this isn't this isn't the best element to do, but I could make this a sort of background to my webcam, and I could say that uh, maybe I have a little spinning animation behind as a border. And uh, if you if you made a, a different element that looked a little bit um, a little bit nicer, it would be suited more specifically to be behind a webcam. You could uh, you could have a complete axis that way. Uh, let's move me now. Uh, one one thing to notice is that this element is too small. So I'm going to go to the properties. Uh, let's move this out of the way again. Go to the properties again. I am going to adjust the width and the height to be a lot bigger. I'm going to say 1600 and 1000. And now we have a lot more uh, pixels for the element to fill in. And that doesn't automatically make this element be that exact width and height all the time. It's just the default. So if I transform and reset the transformation, it's right there. So one thing I want to do is transform and fit to screen. And I could adjust the width over here and kind of stretch it out. And it might end up looking uh, something a little bit like this, where we have our um, blank starting soon screen. And here, if I wanted to, I could add um, a chat box over on the side. I could add donation alerts just to get people excited. And um, the reason I really like this is because I have uh, I have the freedom to make whatever I want uh, in whatever way I want. I can add colors and animations, and I don't have to pay for it if I know how to do it. And if you know somebody or um, if you know where you can find HTML, uh, or if you know somebody who can make HTML for you, uh, you can get these cool custom elements um, on your own stream. So I'm just going to demonstrate a couple of my own elements that I have. Um, I've I've sort of tweaked some elements that I found. Uh, here is my uh, be right back screen. You saw this uh, at the beginning of the video. Um, here it is with neon lights. Uh, those uh, those neon lights are just plain HTML text with some styles added to it, a, a text shadow. And uh, I also have it as my uh, my goodbye screen. And uh, I also have uh, another custom element here of my my chat box. It looks like the Final Fantasy VII uh, menu screen. So I hope you um, I hope you liked and enjoyed this video. If you found it interesting, leave me a like and subscribe if you want to see more Twitch stuff. I also uh, I also Twitch. What do you call it? Excuse me, I also stream on Twitch at uh, twitch.tv slash beefcakeblake.